ABC Shark Tank has seen many successful businesses and simply appearing on the show can be enough to boost your sales, but getting one of the several sharks on the board can turn your business into a real hit. And today, we are going to cover some insanely good Shark Tank ideas. So drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're a new viewer, and let's get going. The Drop Stop when co-founders Mark Newberger and Jeffrey Simon appeared on the show in 2012, they introduced one of the greatest inventions of the 21st century, called the Drop Stop. This foam-filled log that fits in the gap between a car seat and the center console prevents you from dropping keys or other items in the car muted triangle, and they will still be within easy reach. Their hilarious pitch secured them a deal with Lori, who invested $300,000 in exchange for a 20% equity share in the company, and the duo went on to sell millions of Drop Stops in the US and internationally for an incredible $38 million in revenue. Sunstashes These longtime friends David Levitch, Rick Lieberman, and Dan Gerson started the novelty sunglass company called Sunstashes together in 2011 and appeared on Shark Tank in 2014, where they made a deal with Damon John who invested $300,000 in exchange for 20% equity in their company. And they soon made deals with large retailers such as Toys R Us and Party City. And they also got licensing agreements with Marvel, Nintendo, and Warner Brothers Studio. Today, the company has gained over $33 million in sales, and the goofy sunglasses with attached mustaches have become one of the Shark Tank's most surprising successes. The Original Comfy Brothers Brian and Michael Special entered the tank in Season 9 and were seeking a $50,000 investment for 20% equity in the company called The Original Comfy, which produces a blanket sweatshirt hybrid. While the Sharks loved the Comfy, they had their concerns, but the brothers eventually received two offers, one from Robert Herjavec at $50,000, 50% equity, and the other from Barbara Corcoran for $50,000 with 30% equity. But after some haggling, they eventually accepted Barbara's offer, and considering that they have since made $37 million in sales, they probably have no regrets about giving out more equity than they had initially hoped. Tower Paddleboards Stefan Aristoff found a Tower Paddleboards in 2010 after witnessing the sports rising popularity on the internet and in real life. Two years later, he pitched his business to the Shark Tank and was seeking an investment of $150,000 for 10% of the company, but he unfortunately choked during the pitch and eventually had to give up three times as much equity for the same amount of cash. Stefan has no reason to regret this decision. After partnering up with Mark, the company grew quickly. With $43 million in sales, this is not only one of Mark Cuban's favorite deals, but also one of the most successful ones that has ever been on the show. Grayson Lace in Season 5, Barbara Corcoran decided to invest in a husband and wife duo Lacey Leg Warmer Company, Grace and Lace. And little did she know that this would turn out to be one of her most profitable Shark Tank investments ever. For $175,000, Barbara got 10% stake in the fashion company that made over $49 million in sales in the years since. Bantam Bagels In Season 6, Nick and his wife Elise entered the tank to introduce their bagel business called Bantam Bagels. The couple was looking for an investment of $275,000 in exchange for 11% equity stake in the company. The company produces and sells many bagel balls filled with cream cheese. They ended up making a deal with Lori, who invested $275,000 in return for 25% stake of the company. When the two pitched their idea to the Sharks, their sales were $200,000. While now, they can boast a whopping $51 million in sales today and making it one of the most successful deals in Shark Tank history. The Red Dress Boutique in Season 6 of Shark Tank, Dina and Josh Harbour made a deal with Mark Cuban and Robert Herjavec that saw the Sharks splitting a $1.2 million investment for 10% equity in the couple's online women's fashion retailer, The Red Dress Boutique, and Cuban taking a lead advisory role. In the week following their appearance on the show, the Harbors made $1 million in sales, but also had trouble keeping up with the demand. Their advisory shark helped them solve infrastructure issues, and the Red Dress Boutique brought in $14 million in revenue in 2016. And that's where we'll wrap up today's video on insanely good Shark Tank ideas that made millions. If you enjoy Shark Tank, leave a like on the video and comment below what video you'd like to see on Shark Tank. See you next time!